Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel Cashrex. Today I'm working on a transmission fluid drain and refill on 2006 Lexus ES330. It's the same way if you have a Toyota Camry from 2004 until 2007. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a very straightforward procedure. There's a one uh, drain plug, drain board in, in a transmission pan underneath the car, I'll show you. And here's the um, dipstick to check the level. And this is from where we will fill the fluids in. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the uh, 10 millimeter Hex bolt torques, you need to remove it. So we need a 10 millimeter head socket. This is 10 millimeter head socket. Very cool. Go ahead and make sure you have a pan underneath to uh, attach the fluid gonna be a clockwise okay here we go using up the board take all the things out and wait for until it's fully drained as you see, it's still dripping, so I'm just gonna wait another five minutes. So, all right, it's fully drained. So now go ahead and put the plug back. Start with your hand, tighten it up, and use the wrench to be tight. All right, just hand tight. Don't over tight it. Uh, just just a snug and there you go. I'm gonna clean up the uh, spill. new transmission fluids in all right this car takes a toyota atf type t4 about a four quart and the rule is whatever you just drain it just fill the same amount so, so i'm going to try with 3.5 quarts to see and we'll check the level with this dipstick so here's the uh the level on the dipstick. Alright, so your fluid should be within these two range. So this is a cold level, this is a hot. So we need to read with the hot level when uh, just start the car, wait for like 15-20 minutes, let it warm up until like a half of your temperature gauge or the fans, the radiator fan comes on and then pull the dipstick to check the fluid level. So let's go ahead and I'll fill it in with a 3.5 port and let's see, we'll check the level and we'll see how much it needs. All right, here's the funnel. Funnel needs to go in the same place where you pull the dipstick for the transmission. Take your time, don't be rushed, don't let it overfill or spill. It may take a little time. All right, once you fill the fluid in, I uh, just fill a 3.5, so three and a three and a half course into a transmission, and I'm gonna go through the gear cycle of the gears, like, you know, from parking to bring it to reverse wait few seconds go to the neutral wait few seconds and go to a drive and then down 
all the way so in this way uh, make sure the fluid will circulate properly into the torque converter and throughout the lines go in the reverse part and come back into reverse so wait a few seconds neutral drive do this like a few couple times of the cycle and then we'll go outside and check the fluid levels you don't need to drive uh, just hold the brake and go through all the cycles from a parking reverse neutral drive all right so I'm reading here which is almost uh, close to the uh, maximum level. This is the minimum level. That's the max level. So I'm gonna add some fluids until it reach up here. So I added the rest of the fluid, and as you can see, this is my level. But the uh, hot, the car is pretty hot, uh, almost maintaining the temperature, and that's it. Alright, so this is how we do our transmission fluid replacement drain and fill in 2004 Lexus ES330. Like I said, it's, a, it's the same procedure if you have 2002 until 2006 period of Camry. They're all the same. And thank you for liking and subscribing my channel. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with my another video.